The TDS on my Waterdrop G3P600 has gradually been going up from around 5 to 18. I'm going to go ahead and swap out my CF filter and see if this brings the number back down. So I installed this one in May and it's October 20th. So it hasn't quite been six months yet, but let's see if this will fix it. Okay, we're done flushing and TGS is still I think the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and swap out this RO filter. This one's every year. I just replaced it four months ago. And this one's been in ever since I got the system. So it's a little over a year old. A year and three months. So I'm going to swap it out and see if this fixes the TDS. I just got this off of Amazon. It was $110. So let's get it swapped out. All right, you're supposed to get around a two year life on this. So. All right, so I'm going to go through flushing and I'll circle back once it's done and see what the TDS is looking like. All right, you're supposed to flush for 30 minutes manually, just with the water on. So let's see what it ends up doing for the TDS. All right, it took about a week for this membrane to get saturated, I guess, but TDS is back down after replacing the RO filter. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks.